This is you. Oh, this is me? Yeah. All right, so she's giving me a hand for once in the kitchen, and that's because I couldn't get the dough into the pan. And what we're doing tonight, I call it pizza pie. All right, so we got a two, in a, a two inch deep pan, and I believe it's a foot across. And we're gonna show you what we're gonna do. The bread we've already done before, and I'm gonna let her layer that in, and we'll get cooking. Yeah, so in our pizza pie pan, I put olive oil and then I just sprinkled garlic garlic powder just so it won't stick. And this is our stromboli dough. And I rolled it out. And then the trick to it is to roll it over the rolling pin and into your pot or your pan. And then get it into your sides. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and brown the sausage before we throw it in the pizza, just to make sure that it's cooked. You don't want it raw inside your pizza. And you've already got the dough. The dough's already in the mold. As you can see, I pinched it over the top of it, just so that it holds shape until I fill it. Okay, and just let it sit aside for a few minutes. Yep. While that's browning. And yes, we are gonna do the same thing to the bacon. I got a little early start, then let my film crew catch up to me. <laughs> and the same process, we're just gonna brown it up. So basically, that's what it looks like once it's brown. That's the sausage? That was the, the sausage, this is the bacon. All right, so yes, I am gonna cheat just a little bit. And I'm gonna use some spaghetti, spaghetti sauce. All right, I didn't wanna go through the whole process of making a pizza sauce. And we got the oven preheating. Yep. 375. And all I'm gonna do with the baster is just spread it around, try to get as much coverage as I can. Now, this is gonna have more than one layer. It's gonna be a thick pizza. That's why I call it pizza pot. Yeah, you got everything all laid out here. We got every ingredient that I want on it, except for one that somebody wants on it. Mushrooms. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so a little bit of sauce. I'm going to start off with the cheese. And I'm just going to scatter it around. Surprised you're not putting chili flakes in it. <laughs> well, you're going to eat it. I don't want you crying that it's too hot. Right, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna throw in a layer of the pepperoni. We're gonna add a layer on top of the pepperoni, salami. So now I'm gonna start and I'm gonna start adding ingredients and I'm just gonna layer this up little at a time. Bell pepper? So this is bell pepper. So yeah, it's got a little bit of flavor on it, a little bit of spice. That's what I always call flavor. Got some onions. A little bit of that bacon that we threw in. And these are just the ingredients that we like. You can add whatever ingredients you want to it, make your own version of it. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys what I call pizza pie. And then the ingredient that I didn't ask for, but here it is. Mushrooms. And that's only gonna go on once. I'm not gonna do that twice. Okay. Yeah. So now we're gonna add some more sauce to the top of this. And all you're gonna do is just move it around again, baste it, make sure it's all covered. And you're gonna start over with the cheese. Like a lasagna. Like a lasagna. And that's why you call it a pizza pie.
Oh, as you can tell, pretty much got it all the way to the top. And now I'm just gonna add the last of my cheese and I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the top of that because I just wanna use it all up. And you know what I mean? If you like cheese, you could always add more cheese, but this is all I'm doing. Yeah, that's our rooster out there. See, they're all going nuts. Yep. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna do before I throw it in the oven, I got some butter and I melted it down and I'm just gonna base the end of the bread all the way around. And that'll just give it that nice brown crunch to it. Golden color. Yeah. All right, now we're just gonna get this and throw it in the oven. And for how long then? We're gonna start with 30 minutes. That's pretty thick. So as you can see, this is it. It's out of the oven. It looks a little toasty, but it's not. And uh, we're gonna let it cool for a couple minutes, and then we'll cut it up and show you what it looks. So as you can see, it's done. This is what it looks like. It is clean to the bottom, but obviously cheese melted. It is gonna be a little runny. That's why I call it pie. Just like your banana cream pie, your coconut cream pie. They all run once you cut them. That's exactly that, what's happening here but it's not sticking and it's ready to eat. We need a, a pie lifter. Yeah, we don't have one of those. <laughs> a pie scooper. We have yeah. all the gadgets in the world, but a pie scooper. Yeah. There you go. So like I said, it is gonna be a little runny, but it's cooked all the way through. So here we go. Time to eat. Well, you can all tell we got a lot left over. This is after our second time going at it. All right. And yes, now it's cold. And now you can see all the different layers in it. And what we're going to do now, we're going to cut it and we're going to bag it. Yep. Save it for a different time. So we love our food saver. Yep. Our food saver. Cut our bags to whatever size you want. Then when we go to reheat it, it's throw it in the oven, but whatever we want, about 350 to warm it up for yep. a few minutes. Or you can throw it in the microwave and eat it, however it comes out. So here's your end result. Pizza by the slice, pizza pie. And trust me, this is more than what you need. This is one meal right here, all in one. Hope you enjoy.